write down all the factors of 1000. To write all the factors of 1000, first we should do the prime factorization of it, that is C. So, 1000. For this number, last digit is 0. So, we take 5 here. Now, first number is 1. 1 smaller than 5, so we take 2 numbers, that is 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5, 2 is 10. This 0 as it is carried down, this 0 as it is carried down. Now, for this number, last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. First number is 2, 2 smaller than 5, so we take 2 numbers, that is 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5, 4 is 20. This 0 as it is carried down. Now for this number, last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. First number is 4, 4 smaller than 5, so we take 2 numbers, that is 40. When do we get 40 in 5 table? 5, 8 is 40. Now we got 8, 8 is 2, 4 is. 4 is 2 twos. Now 2 is a prime number so we take 2 and 1. So now 1000 is equal to the product of these numbers. That is 5 into 5 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 2. Okay, so far, next. Any number you take, that will definitely include 1 and the number itself in its factors. I repeat, any number you take that will definitely include 1 and the number itself in its factors. Okay, next. Now, from all these numbers, now you take out one different number at a time. Like that, how many numbers do we get? We get 5 and 2. That's it. Next. Now from all these numbers, now you take a combination of two numbers at a time. And how do we do that? See. First, I fix 5. I now combine with next number that is 5. So, 5 into 5, 25. If I combine with this 5, then also I get 25. If I combine with the 2, I get 10. If I combine with this 2 also same, this 2 also same. If, next, when I take this 5, then also I get the same thing. Now, when I fix this 5, then also I get the same thing. Now I fix 2. Combine with 2. We get 4. Even if I combine with this 2, then also I get the same thing. When I fix this 2 also the same number, that's it. No more options possible. Next. Now you take a combination of 3 numbers. How do we take it? C. First, I fix these two numbers. 5 into 5, 25. Now I combine with 5. 25 into 5 is 125. Now I combine with 2. 25 into 2 is 50. If I combine with this 2 also, I get the same number. The other 2 also, I get the same number. So now what I do is, I leave this 5, take these 2. Then also I get the same numbers. So now what I do is, I take this 5 along with this 2. 5 into 2 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. Even if I combine with the next 2, next two then also I get the same thing. So now use of this 5 is done. Even when I make use of this 5, then also I get the same number, so don't consider this 5 as well. Now I fix these two numbers, 5 into 2, 10, 10 I combine with 2, I get 20. 
so even with this 5 also I get the same numbers so next I take these two numbers 2 into 2 4 combined with 2 I get 8 okay so no more combinations possible next now you take a combination of four numbers how do we take it C first I fix these three numbers 5 into 5 into 5 125 combine with 2 we get 250 even if I combine with this this still I get the same number so now I leave this 5 now when I take these three numbers 5 into 5 25 into 2 is 50 combine with 2 50 into 2 is 100 even when I combine with the next number also the same so now you leave this 5 now you take these three numbers 5 into 2 10 10 into 2 20 combine with the 2 you get 40 now you leave this 5 now you no more options possible man only these many okay next now you take a combination of five numbers how do we take it C First, I fix these four numbers 5 into 5, 25, 25 into 5, 125 into 2 is 250. Combine with 2, I get 500. When I combine with this 2, then also I get 500. Okay, next. Now I leave this 5 and now I take these four numbers. 5 into 5, 25, 25 into 2, 50, 50 into 2, 100, combine with 2. 100 into 2 is 200. Okay. No more options possible. Next. Now you take a combination of 6 numbers. Here we have only 6 numbers. If we take all the 6 numbers, we get 1000 itself. So thus, these are all the factors of 1000 that is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 25, 8, 20, 50, 125, 40, 100, 250, 500, 200 and finally 1000. Okay. So all these are the factors of 1000. Am I clear?